what's going to I mean, be a lot of tickets being sold and kind of what's going to Yeah, like? I mean, I, I'm asking around for tickets from my teammates and everything. I got my whole family, cousins, aunties, uh, second cousins, grandma, grandpas, everybody's coming. So um, we definitely, me and my brother, obviously want to do good for our family and stuff like that. And um, I'm just excited. I FaceTime him two days in a row. I FaceTime him again and just let him know what's up. And just obviously trash talking because that's how it is in the family. We always have confidence in one another. So. Sharing any of that trash talk, any of that appropriate for camera? Uh, no, nah, not, really, not appropriate for the media. Yeah. Have you been keeping up with them throughout the season, and, and what what are those kind of conversations kind of like? I mean, yeah, uh, I always keep up with him. I, I want to see him do better than me all the time. I, I, I obviously want that. He pushes me, and I push him. So um, I call him after after his great games, and I let him know. Uh, what's up? And I'll be like only 156 yards or whatever he had. So like I always try to push him and keep him motivated and keep him level headed because obviously that's my family and I love my brother to death. So yeah. You have this one signed on the or just it circled the calendar when you signed. This was one to keep an eye on. <laughs> yeah, it, it was definitely a one to keep my eye on because it's it's big brother. I, I face I'll I'll give you guys one one little snippet. I FaceTimed him and I was like, if we beat you. I'm big brother now, so yeah. <laughs> so stuff like that. We just it's like a little trash talk, but he's 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 fun, he's a funny guy and um, I just love his presence and when we're together it's good to be together. How have you seen yourself kind of fitting into this offense? Obviously you missed the first four and you've had about a month now to kinda of get reacting. How's that process been? Um, it's good. It's been good. Um, a process. Um, still still just finding my way in college football, honestly. Um, coming off of a game where I felt like I could have made the catches and stuff like that, it's time to redeem myself and bounce back this week and keep my head level and making sure the coaches can always rely on me when, when, it's, you know, when my number is called. You do rely on you, you try to become a reliable receiver. You had a couple of you, you drop what happened on those. I know you had something you pride yourself on there. Yeah, um, I mean, I knew there were difficult catches, but at the end of the day, I make those in practice like all the time. Um, so. I don't know, honestly, I can't even tell you. I was really upset with myself, but at the end of the day, you always got to think next play, next play, because if you just let that uh, let that linger on in your head, it's going to affect the rest of your game. And um, I didn't have the most snaps, but I had to get going, and when my number was called, I should have been more reliable. Candy corn, is it good? Candy corn? Uh, I'm not a big fan of candy corn, if I'm going to be honest. I'm more of a, like a, a candy cane type of guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Christmas. It's 